people don't know about the marker pseudo element and it is awesome because if you have a bullet list like we have here you can just come in with your ul and the marker is a descendant because the marker is actually part of your list items and on there we come in with the content property and in the content property you can put a string so i can put abc and my bullet point got changed to an abc which you probably don't want to do though for some reason you did want to do that you can then change the font size to like 8.5 rem or something like that just to make it smaller and we could make the color Red 0.5 is probably a little bit too small. Uh, let's make a 7.5 just so we can actually see it show up there. But you probably wouldn't want to do that. But what you might want to do is come in with an emoji. And if you put in an emoji, the emoji just shows up there. And if you don't want to change the icon itself, you just want to change the color. Well, you can just come in and say color is now red and the color will just change to red on whatever is already there. And this could be used also for ordered lists as well as on ordered lists. Now there is a limited number of things you can do here. So you can't actually add margin to this. So if we go back to having my emoji here and I feel like it's a bit too close to my text, I cannot say a margin to the right of, I don't know, let's just make hundred pixels because it's not going to work anyway. You can see there is no difference but one option that you can do is just add a space to the string here and then it will add that space there if you need to shift things around you might have to add margin or padding to your ul or your list items themselves to move things around a little bit from here